All right, hello, grade eights, and welcome to lesson 10.2, intersecting lines, parallel lines, and transversals. It's found on page 340 of your textbooks, and um, I suggest strongly you follow along because there's a lot here. So you need to uh, follow along in your textbook, and the goal is to identify and apply the relationships between the measures of angles formed by intersecting lines. All right, so let's move on here, and it's going to be a plot note-taking. So start here. Straight angle is your first definition, and this is an example of a straight angle. It's basically an angle lying flat. And the definition is an angle that measures 180 degrees. So basically is your vertices right here, vertex, no one. All right, and it's just lying flat. You put a protractor on there, it's straight, it's 180. So that's all you need to know here. So write down title, write down the example, and your definition. Pause if you need to, like right now. Like I'm gonna go on, okay? All right, we move, we go. All right, opposite angle. The definition is a non-adjacent angle uh, that are formed by two intersecting lines. The thing about opposite angles is they're the same. So let's just say this angle here is 50, okay? This angle right across from it will also be 50. So Many ways to identify angles, and one of them is by using opposite angles. So again, opposite angles are formed by two intersecting lines, and this is 50, therefore that is also 50. What is this you think, or you say? We're gonna find out in a bit. We'll go through some more examples, and we'll may, we may revisit this here. All right, so, so what do we got here? We have next adjacent angles. Definition is angles that share a common vertex and a common arc. So here's your vertex. Common vertex between this angle and this angle here. Now, how do we identify this missing angle here? Well, this angle here is 130 degrees, right there, the whole thing. This angle here, just under 90, is 89. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna say 130, minus 89 will give you 41. So this angle here is 41 degrees, all right? So adjacent angles, angles that share a common vertex and a common arc, all right? And that's how you find out the missing angle. You just subtract from what you have. You know, given these two numbers, what's missing? 41, good, beautiful. I'll wait for you guys to catch up. Just push pause and we'll wait, all right? Next, supplementary angles. Two angles whose sum is 180 degrees. So this is your straight angle again, and that's 180. So your straight angle is 180, all right? Let's just say this is 110 right here, 110. Well, what's left? 180 minus 110 is 70. Lovely, beautiful. Now, <clears throat> I said I was gonna revisit it, so I will. If we go back here, this looks like a supplementary angle. This is a straight angle. This is 180 right here. So, this is 50. What's left? 130. What's this angle here? Well, that's an opposite angle to 130. All right, here's a straight angle, 180. Here's a straight angle, 180. And there's a straight angle, 180. You get, you get the point here? So this entire thing right here is 180 times two. This is 360. Yes, yes. Write that down. Go back to that example. Write it down. Do it. Do it right now. All right. Beautiful. I'll wait. Pause. And we're back. Okay. So let's go back here. And I would like to have a conversation about a transversal. What is a transversal? Well, again, a transversal is a straight line, which is this one here, that intersects two or more lines, one and two. And they do know. We don't know. So, transversal is just 
this example. I will show you in about uh, 10 seconds. Don't quote me on that. Don't count down or anything. Um, how to find the angles on a transversal. So all you need to know right now, I can copy this down here, definition of a straight line that intersects two or more uh, lines. All right, that's your transversal. To continue with this, here's our last example. Just so I move a bit quickly. Corresponding angles. There's a transversal again. The definition is matching angles that are formed by a transversal and two parallel lines. So there's a couple of patterns that I can do here. So these are parallel. These have to be parallel for this to work. So these are parallel just like that. Oops. So just erase that. Okay. So now this angle here, we're gonna have an F pattern. So F pattern, like that. This angle here, 79, will be the exact same as this. So same angle, there's your angle, and there's your angle. Now remember, what is a straight angle? It's 180. So 79, 101, again, same thing. Here, the same as this angle. Now, this angle, that angle, is an opposite angle. So what's that going to be? And this angle here, opposite angle, 79. This angle, so you need the F pattern again, all right? This angle will be the same as this angle. So many ways that you can pick these angles. Or you can say this angle is 101 by using the corresponding angle format or you can say well there's 180 right here this is 79 but what's left 101 again so many ways all right so that's all you really need to know for today copy down all of the examples pause copy them down make sure you got these definitions because they're really 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 important and as far as finding the angles I'll take some time with you in class so not to worry there so, great. Thank you for watching. Please come again, and we'll see you in class. Goodbye.